So hey everyone, I am Manish Shutradhar and today, today's video, we are going to talk about the most booming industry it's right now, the VLSI industry. So we will cover a lot of things in this video. So what exactly is the VLSI domain? Why should you think about building a career in it? What kind of salaries that are offered? And the big question. Can AI replace VLSI engineers? So stay tuned till the end because I will also talk about that roadmap that you can follow to become a successful VLSI engineer. But before that, let me quickly introduce myself. I did my master's from the Indian Institute of Science, Bengaluru, one of the top institutions in India with a specialization in microelectronics and VLSI design. Right now, I'm working as a design engineer too in the logic design team at Cadence. Now let's talk about the VLSI industry, what actually it is. So VLSI stands for Very Large Scale Integration. It's all about designing and building the tiny integrated circuits that power everything around us. Your smartphone, processor, laptop chip, CPU, GPUs, data center hardware, AI accelerators, sensors, literally everything. This industry has been growing super fast, around 8 to 9% every year. And experts predict that a global semiconductor will hit around $1.2 trillion in the next five years. And guess what? India is making massive moves in this field. So the government and the private companies together have invested around 1.6 lakh crore in the semiconductor ecosystem. So big names like Micron, Tata, Vedanta have already started investing heavily. So this means in the next five to six years, India is going to be one of the key players in the global chip industry. And this creates a huge opportunity for fresh engineers like you enter the VSI domain. Now commit to the fun part that it's selling. If you are skilled in this field, a good VLSI engineer in India can easily make around 20 to 40 lakhs per annum, even more with experience. So yeah, it's a field that actually rewards your skill and heart. To wrap it up, the VLSI industry is the backbone of all modern technology. Every innovation, both whether in this AI, 5G or autonomous cars ultimately depends on chip design by VLSI engineers. And with India investing heavily in this space, so this is honestly the best time to start your journey. So next, let's talk about the career path in VLSI industry. In VLSI, there are mainly three broad categories, fabrication, analog, and digital domains. So let's begin with fabrication. Now building a career in fabrication is quite challenging because it is a very resource intensive and delicate fit. You need to access the sophisticated and extremely expensive equipment. Each machine in fabrication lab costs around millions of dollars. So that's why it's IAB committed to pursue this field through premier institutions such as IITs, IISC, or top NITs, where you can get proper exposure, paint groups, fabrication labs, and semiconductor process training. Uh, usually, a master's degree or a high qualification helps you gain a strong foundation in fabrication domain. Next comes the analog domain. Analog is a skill-based and intuition-driven field. Unlike digital design, programming skills are not mandatory here. Instead, you need to develop a strong grasp of circuit fundamentals, working with registers, capacitors, inductors, and opems. So you'll be dealing with circuits like RC filters, amplifiers, and other analog building blocks. Analog design is all about understanding how 
signal behaves in the KN void, how to amplify, filter, or modulate them. Finally, let's come to the digital domain, a field that I personally specialize in. So digital field is comparatively easier to enter because you know plenty of free and open source tools available today. You can easily start exploring how digital circuits are designed, verified, and implemented right from your lab. Now the digital PLSI design process consists of several stages and specialized roles. Design engineers are responsible for writing RTA code and designing the logic. Verification engineer ensures that the design functions correctly through so simulation and test matches. And DFT engineers checks for problems or possible manufacturing faults, makes the design testable. And physical design engineer converts the logic design into its physical layout, meaning the actual arrangement of transistors and interconnects or silicon. So once physical design is complete and verified, it is sent to the fabrication lab where the chip is actually manufactured. The result? The kind of processors you see in the market like Intel i7, i9, or AMD Ryzen 9. So, if someone wants to build their career in this domain, it's quite achievable, even though self learning, thanks to the availability of open source tools and online resources, you can learn the complete chip design flow from RTL to GDS2 right from you. And since I myself am a digital engineer, I'll be focusing more on this domain in the upcoming part of this talk. So where I will discuss the skills, courses, and roadmaps required to become a successful digital LSI engineer. So next, I shall be presenting a roadmap and step-by-step -step guide that you can follow to build your career in PLSI domain. You can follow basic semiconductor devices and move on to digital electronics to HDL languages like Verilog and VSDL. Then comes digital IC design followed by digital system design using FPZ. After that, you should explore computer architecture and of course, learn programming languages like C, C++ or Python. These are essential. Now, if you follow all these steps carefully and dedicate time each topic, you will be more than capable of tracking any interviews and written tests quite easily. In the next section, I will be presenting a mind map that I've created. So this mind map contains all the links and resources that you can follow to strengthen your fundamentals and make concepts even stronger. So stay tuned for the next video. So I'll be showing you this mind map in detail and explaining what all resources you can follow. Lastly, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this kind of content and want to see more of such videos in the future, please hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to comment below if you have any doubts. Thank you.